When using heat shrink tubing, it's best to use the smallest size possible that fit around the battery. And if you don't have a tape measurer that you can use, it's, it's sometimes difficult to know which size to use. I want to use this one, but I don't know if it fits. If it's a rectangular battery, I usually lay them on top and check the size. If this one were a rectangular battery, it would be a little bit too small. But this one has um, trimmed edges, so this one might work. And one method I have come across, if you don't want to measure, if you're too lazy to measure, uh, if you don't have a tape measure, or if you just want to check that it's actually possible, because it's the inner, uh, inner circumference that actually matters, not the outer circumference, and if it's uh, worries, uh, a, a lot then you can just cut off one, one small half a centimeter piece. Now this one is very easy to put around and you can actually measure how hard it is to uh, fit it around. Let's see if this one works. Now this one actually works fine and you have like one or two extra centimeters to spare so I will go ahead and use the green one. Uh, and you do you just waste one little bit of small plastic so now that's a perfect fit there is a tiny bit of marginal so here you can see I'm using about two centimeters extra two three centimeters at both sides to make sure it uh, covers the battery on both sides and when it comes to heat shrink tubing you can actually use a hair dryer that's an excellent tool uh, but it's not adjustable in temperature, so if you do it a lot, you should use some kind of hot air gun. And this one has adjustable temperature, and I usually go with 170 degrees Celsius. Takes a few seconds to warm up. 170, and you start around the edges. And you end with the edges as well. Reheat the edges and clamp them down. And now it's the cooling down period. It's not the uh, hot but it cools down the heating elements. So if, if you want to waterproof this even further, you can use hot glue or silicone uh, on these edges. 
if you have a battery pack without a case. Uh, but you can leave it like this or I add a little bit of tape to keep um, insects and moist and dirt and like that. It won't be 100% waterproof but that's what the uh, battery case is for.